Colombians are set to vote in a peace deal between FARC rebels and the government. Officials say everything's in place for the referendum on Sunday. The historic deal was signed on Monday, and according to early polls, it appears likely to be ratified. Well, the man in charge of getting out the yes vote is former President Cesar Gaviria. He's given an exclusive interview to our Latin America editor, Lucia Newman. The biggest opponent of this agreement is former President Uribe. He says that you are basically t handing the country over to the world's largest cocaine cartel. How do you respond to that? Uh, I don't imagine that you are, we are going to give up Colombia to FARC uh, with, the, um, with the approval of the U.S. <laughs> Even President Obama has, has said that the agreement is, is a success of his foreign policy. I mean, so it's, it's nonsense to say that we are giving FARC uh, to narco traffic because the President Obama will never do that and not, not do Colombians. We have suffered too much uh, uh, with, with narco trafficking to do something of that kind. But many people find it very difficult to swallow the idea that Rodrigo Londoño, alias Timochenko, the head of the FARC, can just simply become a, a congressman or a senator without having spent a single day in prison. This is the result of a peace agreement signed on the table. No one signs to go to jail for a long period of time. That hasn't happened ever in any peace agreement uh, in the history of humanity. In Ireland, no one went to jail. In El Salvador, no one went to jail. In Guatemala, no one went to jail. So peace processes uh, uh, usually don't put people in jail, don't think that uh, that is an appropriate way. It's uh, the first effort to have a peace agreement within the standards of the International Court of Justice. This is more advanced, it's more severe than any one of the peace agreements we have seen through the last 20 years. We know that war is very, very costly, but what about the price of peace? Many people say we don't have the money to comply with the agreements, but uh, my argument is, is very simple. It cannot be that war is cheaper than, than peace. How? <laughs> I mean, it may take time to do certain things, but to say that it's more expensive to have peace than war is nonsense. 